Okay, so I've gotten a few questions about problem number 16. Um, this is the problem dealing with uh, cell phone users causing brain cancer, or cell phone use causing brain cancer. I don't necessarily want to do this exact problem, so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to work out a similar version of this problem that I just made up. So again, I just wanted to say on the forefront, I made these numbers up. This is not a real study, um, but this says, do Bluetooth devices cause brain cancer? In a study of 600,000, it was found that 250 developed brain cancer. Um, this is 600,000 Bluetooth users. It would found that 250 developed brain cancer. Assuming that Bluetooth devices have no effect, it was found that there was a 0.000313 probability of a person developing brain cancer or nervous system cancer. Um, therefore, we expect about 188 people. Um, how I got that number, I just illustrated this a little bit further. If we have 600,000 people and our probability is 0.000313, this will give us about 187.8, or I rounded to a, we could expect about 188 people just will naturally develop that cancer. So does this suggest <clears throat> that Bluetooth devices cause brain cancer? So we're going to use the, bino the normal to approximate the binomial. I'm going to walk through a few steps. The first thing we're going to want to do is get N, P, and Q. N is going to be the total number of people in our sample, so that will be 600,000. P is going to be the probability that somebody develops this cancer. So 0 0.000313. And then finally, to find the value of Q, we do 1 minus P. 1 minus P, which would be 1 minus 0 0.000313. Which is 0.999687. Okay, the next step that, again, it doesn't necessarily require us to do it here, but what you do to make sure that we can use the, binomial, uh, the normal to approximate the binomial is we want to make sure NP and NQ are both greater than or equal to 5. So when I do N times P, that's going to be 600,000 times 0 0.000313. which gives us 187.8. And then I'm going to do 600,000 times uh, 0 0.999678. So actually, I have my calculator up. So let's do 600,000, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, times 0 0.000. 313, and that gives us 187.8. Oh, I'm sorry, I just did that one. Now we're going to do 600,000 times 0.999687. And that one gives us 599812.2. And these are both bigger than 5, right? So then our next step here is, whoops, so our next step here after we get that done is we are going to find our mean and standard deviation. Our mean is provided by doing n times p. Take a look. We, are, we actually already did n times p. We found that was 187.8. That is the average number of people that we think that if it didn't have an effect, um, that that's the normal people that we could, that's the normal number of people you could expect to develop the brain cancer. So 187.8. And now we need to do the standard deviation, which is going to be the square root of NPQ. N is going to be 600,000 times uh, 0 0.000313. I have to extend the square root a lot farther, times 0 0.999687. So we're going to work that out. So it's going to be the square root of 600,000. times 0 0.000313 times 0.999687. And when I work that out, that gives me 13.7.
All right, so we've done a lot of work, but we haven't really answered the question. Uh, the question says, um, find the probability of 250 or fewer cancer uh, it occurrences of brain cancer. So when we think about this, this is where we're going to use the decimal approximate. We're going to have to do that continuity correction. We want fewer than 250, or I'm sorry, of 250 or fewer. That is less than or equal to, right? So we're trying to find the probability of getting less than or equal to 250. And this is the way I've kind of figured out that best works for me. I want to include 250, right? So if we want to include 250, we're going to shade just past it and we're going to make our upper limit actually 250 0.5. We need to go right above or below the numbers when we're working with the binomial. So now I'm going to use the normal distribution. So I'm going to go to my normal distribution. So we go to second vars, normal CDF. Our lower bound is going to be negative 1,000 or negative 10,000. Our upper value is going to be 250.5 with a mean of 187.8. And we're going to have a standard deviation of 13.7. So our standard deviation is going to be 13.7. Um, if you have a TI-83, you know you're just going to need to go ahead and put these in. Uh-oh, something's going on here. Let me delete some stuff. Um, so when you put this in, Sorry, I put it in incorrectly. I had to back up in the video. Um, when you put it in correctly, it's normal CDF, negative 10,000, comma, 250.5, comma, 187.8, comma, 13.7. And when I calculate this, I get, well, let's say we round this four places. We're going to get 100%, right? Or 1. So the next part of this question that's given people some trouble is, do these results su suggest that Bluetooth cause brain cancer? Again, I made these numbers up. It's not likely in a normal situation, but given what we're dealing with in this problem, based off the data of this, um, normally we'd expect about 188, right? In our case, we found 250. If you've got a data set where you were expecting 188 and you got 250, we would probably say that this is pretty likely that we're going above the value, right? This is more. So I would say based on this data set that it does appear that um, Bluetooth are having some effect on brain cancer in general.